What I'm working on is a plug-in air freshener that goes against a, a key unmet consumer need, and that's freshness that doesn't fade. Well, I, I would say we have a, a very high-tech plug-in when it comes to the world of plugs. I, most people probably don't think that there's much science or much tech in a in a plug-in air freshener. And I, I think before I started working on them, I never really gave it a second thought either. But we have a, a pretty sophisticated system. We've got an onboard PCB that's the, the brains of this device, and it allows us to pretty accurately control which of the heaters is operating and uh, it also has smart features in that it can tell how long the device has been plugged in so it can calculate for you when the last day of life will be for your refill and it turns light on uh, it's kind of a way to have smart features without having to have uh, wi-fi or, or like bluetooth on your phone programming not everybody wants that level of interaction but this this does certainly take it to the next level It's really going after a uh, consumer need. If you talk to consumers, spend any time talking to them, they'll tell you that they stop noticing the plug-in after just a few weeks. We've gone after that consumer tension and uh, actually been able to solve that. So this really will be fresh for the whole time. And when it runs out of juice, you won't smell it anymore and you're not gonna stop smelling it while there's still liquid in the bottle. creating these programmable prototypes. So the way you would normally do consumer research is you would you would have a product and you'd, you'd uh, make that product, you'd take it out and you'd give it to consumers and then they'd test it. And you'd get that back and you look through all the data and then if it didn't test the way you wanted it to, you have to go back to the drawing board and you start all over again. And this process kind of churns and it takes months and months every time. What I envisioned with this was a programmable plug that would let me literally hook it up to my laptop, write software, put it on the device, and then get it into consumers' hands. And so these programmable prototypes are very different than, than anything we've ever really done. And this allowed me to iterate very quickly. So I could literally have an idea in my head, program it on my laptop, uh, flash it onto this plugin, and then give the plugins to consumers, and they would test it. And then when we got the data back, for the first time ever, we had both experiential data from the consumers and we had technical data from the device because I also had a data logger on board there. And so I could correlate when they said, gee, this wasn't fresh enough or it was too strong. I could look and say on what day that was and did they change the settings and, and all that was very, very helpful. The other thing that enabled us to do was then once I had those devices back, we could turn it around like that reprogram it based on the feedback they gave us, get it back out to consumers. And so that let us do multiple iterations of software in about a four or five month time that normally would have taken us a year or longer to do with multiple devices that just got thrown away. But these were able to be replicated time and time again. Uh, it really is a great product. I know people say those things a lot, but uh, I have a tremendous amount of passion for this and uh, this has been something I've worked on for a while and championed and uh, it, it's a really great product so go out and get it. Buy two. <laughs>